Hey guys, so my name's Rachel and I've been getting a lot of comments on my TikTok regarding my diet and the lifestyle change that I made regarding food. Um, I have Hashimoto's as well as hypothyroid, so I, there's a lot of people out there that also have the same difficulties and the same illness that I do. So we're going to get some questions today covered on what to do and what not to do when it comes to me. Go ahead. And oh, also, this is my girlfriend, Rachel. Hello. So, so what foods can't you have? So foods that I absolutely stay away from are gluten, eggs, grains, legumes, legumes, I know. Peanuts are one of my favorites. And so I actually didn't, was not even aware that they're legumes, but they are. So I have to stay away from those. They really inflame my stomach. Gluten, that's a major, major thing that um, a lot of people with Hashimoto's and thyroid disease and celiac have a difficult time with. So if you're struggling to lose weight as a person with Hashimoto's or thyroid problems, the first thing I would recommend that you cut out is gluten, even if you try that for say two or three months and just see how you're feeling. But fun fact, gluten can stay in the system for months, one bite. What? Mm-hmm, one bite. <laughs> so what about eggs? So eggs are actually something that I cut out and in the first month of cutting those out, I lost 20 pounds literally in one month inches off my waist of inflammation so eggs were a really big deal for me those I was super intol intolerant to that so I had to cut those out and I've noticed a really big difference so dairy is something that a lot of people with Hashimoto's and autoimmune disease in general have a difficult time with so that's another thing I would definitely recommend taking out just at least for a month so dairy and eggs or no no goat cheese I feel that my stomach can handle a little bit better but it's still not an everyday thing for me so I'm primarily dairy free including eggs mm. I've been on almost every diet out there I've had a nutritionist put me on a diet that included a lot of chicken vegetables rice and I was working out 35 plus miles ran a week <laughs> <laughs> huh <laughs> Um, so I was working out like crazy running like 35 plus miles a week and the weight was just like adding on even yeah oh yeah so I was eating a lot of chicken and fish and sweet potatoes rice and I was just gaining weight I was mm -mm -mm. but I looked a lot like like a lot more puffy well thank you for answering that for me of um, course um so how did you know that you had Hashimoto's good question so <laughs> I got <laughs> I got diagnosed at 14 years old. I was in eighth grade and my mom noticed that I had a lot of white patches of like dry skin on me. I was really tired and I guess a lot more down than I usually am. These are things that I didn't necessarily notice because <laughs> God, I didn't pay a lick of attention as a kid to myself and I wasn't really aware, but my mom was. So my mom took me to the doctor and my levels were super, super messed up. They actually told my mom that they were surprised that I was even able to get out of bed in the mornings. <laughs> so, gosh, dude, it's in my nose. <laughs> oh my gosh. Next question. <laughs> so at age 14 and I struggled with my weight for years. I mean, all throughout high school, I played sports, so I had a lot of reasons as to why I could be healthy, but I also ate really bad, so that's a lot of reasons why I, yeah, so. So how do you know that these foods, how do you know what foods to cut out and what foods will hurt your stomach or not? The AIP diet. This is an autoimmune protocol, and with this diet, it's recommended for people with autoimmune disease, and so say for a month, you cut out all these foods. It is kind of a strict diet, I will say. You take out artificial sugars, you take out legumes, dairy, grains, um, nuts, seeds. And so by doing that, after especially going like a month, you are able to then reintroduce those foods. And if you're feeling any differently than you did before while being on the AIP, then you're probably <laughs> <laughs> intolerant to it. And it, it's probably inflammatory for you. God. So I will definitely recommend the autoimmune protocol diet to anyone that has autoimmune disease just because it's something that will really help you specify which foods it is that are harmful to you. So since you've changed your diet, what's changed for you? So since I've changed my diet, I have completely felt a 360 in my 
in my mood, my weight, obviously, before starting the AIP diet. Um, I also do a low carb version of the AIP, but I do eat sweet potatoes sometimes. Ah, oh, every day, fine. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't eat a whole one, but I Just still a do. Carb. <laughs> <laughs> a little starch, but um, <laughs> a little starch. So since I've cut out those foods, I've noticed, like I said, the weight loss. I've lost like a good 60, 50 to 60 pounds. Uh, my face is a lot more defined. People with Hashimoto's already carry a lot of fluid. There's a lot of fluid retention in our bodies, especially like our face and legs. For me, it's my face and legs. Um, so the puffiness still um, comes at, at some times. Brain fog is a lot less. Um, my brain doesn't feel as foggy and I feel a lot more energetic. I have really do have a hard time going to sleep at night. I have insomnia really bad. But other than that, I felt a lot of good effects in my energy and mood levels. So Awesome. Yeah. So out of all of the health diets, which one or ones do you recommend? Um, for people with autoimmune diseases, I would definitely recommend the AIP or, I mean, if people would like to try the AIP diet without having any autoimmune, then you could do that as well. Um, it's, it's, there are a lot of things that people are allergic to and intolerant to, and they have no idea. And so weight loss, especially losing weight with, um, Hashimoto's, especially hypothyroid, it can be really difficult. So Minimizing your stress and working on your diet are two of the main key components I would give anyone when it comes to anything. Diet is everything. So Rachel, thank you so much for answering these Hashimoto's diet questions. I really learned a lot from you. Of course. And so I will be talking more about this as I go on, but this is just something that I wanted to give people because I've heard a lot of questions and a lot of people that are needing help with Hashimoto's and hypothyroid. So it's a lot more common than people think, and I promise you if I can do it, anybody can. So. Thank you to my lovely girlfriend. Please keep asking her questions. She loves answering them. I love talking about food and talking about this. So my goal is to help people with the help of my honey. So this is Rachel and Rachel. Peace and out. Thank you guys. Subscribe, like, and comment.